guys, how you doing? It's your boy Mr. bringing you another video. It may look a little bit creepy, but it's really not. But anyways, so what I was gonna, what we're gonna be talking about today is an ASM1 best class setup video here. So first up, um, this is my other ASM1 setup video. Not video, I mean class setup video. Now we're gonna be starting up a new one here, baby. This will be, this is like our, this is, you know, we'll just give you guys a look of what I usually run in competitive. And this is what I run in maybe in competitive too. I don't know. I don't know. But in my last video I said that we are moving over to PC. That is true. But right now I, was, I can still play console. But yeah. So. Today the class is the ASM1. And what we put on it is foregrip quick draw and laser sight so as you can see if you need those hip fires with the ASM1 it's a lot easier to hit them as you can see see if we can get this hip fire look at that Alright, so, so we got the regular ASM1 with foregrip, quick draw, and laser sight. Then for the perks, so pretty much I put grip on there just because, you know, because um, I like having grip on there. It, I don't know, it feels a lot more comfortable for me. Quick draw, I like having quick draw because when you're in a gunfight, aiming on your sights, usually you want to shoot first before you aim, and that will help it out help you out and that's also why laser sight is so you when you shoot first you can hit bullets easier and then aim in and dominate so there's that gun part so next we have lightweight for moving faster this is really not needed because it's a, a submachine gun but it's also it's also uh needed i think because moving faster is not really a big part it's not really a big part of this game but when you're not using your XO and you need to get to the hard point or something like that faster, that's why we have overclock with that. So you'll be running blazing fast, super fast. Uh, these two. But anyways, so then we have fast hands, and fast hands can kind of screw you over sometimes because you'll be running, you'll be running, shoot somebody. Running, shoot somebody, and then while you're reloading, you're trying to shoot here, and you really can't do anything to get rid of that reloading thing, but it's not punching and like exo boosting, exo strafing. So, but even though it's really helpful uh, for when you're running and you need to reload, you can hide somewhere while reloading. So you'll be running, have the re and if say if they're reloading and you're reloading, you can run away while reloading. So you got bullets in the last up, the wall, sit there, reload, eh, when's he gonna come out? And you just dominate him, just dominate him. So then we got Blast Special, which is absolutely needed. Needed uh, for search and destroy, even for respawn. Um, it, well, if you don't know what Blast Special does, what it does is it helps you um, stay, stay off the radar. It helps you stay off the radar when you're um, exo jumping. And and that's why it's good for search and destroy, and for anything really, because people can look at the radar and see your exo boost circle thing, and then find you back. Well, about to rape him. So yeah. So that's why I like it. It's really really needed. But yeah, then we have scavenger. So if you do, so when you run out of ammo, you have scavenger to help you out. There, then we got this. Like I, we got a overclock. Like I said, if you don't use overclock, which you should, if you're in the hard point, what it does, it makes you run faster. So here we go. This regular running. Here, I'll do it with a gun. He's regular running. I oh, use running with overclock. So I don't know if you see the difference, but you do run faster. And. Yeah, you run faster. Let's 
taking all these bots. No bots. But anyways, then we got two frags uh, to help out when you're in the hard point. So you can egg bop, 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 and bang, bang, bang. And bam, shoot that grenade out. At the last second, blast some people, or just pop it off, hit the ceiling, bam, bounce off, and boom, get somebody. So this is the class setup, guys. I'll give you one brief look of everything for like 30 seconds so you guys can get it, and also you can go back and pause the video and watch. You'll go back and pause the video and see what, um, what how to make it. So yeah, but this is the, the, the setup that I use a lot. That I've been using for a little bit, and yeah, but that's pretty much it. And yeah, and there will be supply drop opening videos if you do want those. Make sure to tell me in the comments below, and I'll end up trying, and I'll try to do them. And yeah, then watch out for this. Uh, also, look forward to the CS Go gameplay. And yeah, but until next time. See you guys in the next one. Make sure to comment, subscribe, and like the video. Yeah. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye, guys.